Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 23. We're going to start this question by plotting on the points A, B and C onto a grid. So here we have some axes and we can plot A which is at 54, 3, B which is at 78, 3 and C which is 54, 39. And this completes the triangle ABC. Now we're told this triangle is enlarged by scale factor 0.416 recurring with a centre negative 18 and 3. 0.416 recurring, if you convert it into a fraction, is 5 twelfths. Let's also mark on the centre negative 18 and 3, and I'm going to call that point O. So let's work through each of the points A, B and C in turn, and work out where they would go to under this transformation. So the horizontal distance from O to A is 72. Since to get from negative 18 to 54, you need to add 72. We need to do 5 twelfths of this, since that's the scale factor. If you do 1 12 for 72 you get 6, and times that by 5 is 30. So the location of this point will be 30 horizontally from the point O. O is at negative 18, so if we add 30 to that we get 12, so it's at the point 12, 3. Now let's look at point B. The horizontal distance from O to B is negative 18 up to 78, which is a distance of 96. If we do 5 twelfths of this we get 40, so the location of this point will be 40 to the right of where O is. O is at negative 18, if you add 40 to this you get 22. So the next point will be at 22, 3. Let's call that point E. And finally let's look at point C. Since the point C is vertically above the point A, we know the point F will be vertically above D. So all we need to find is how high it goes. The vertical distance from A to C is 36, so if we do 5 twelfths of this, that will give you 15. So it's going to be 15 higher than point D. The y coordinate of point D is 3, if we add 15 to this we get 18. So the point F would be at 12, 18. So we've now found the triangle DEF. The next thing we're told to do is rotate this triangle 180 degrees about the point 34, 8. Let's mark on that point 34, 8 and we'll call it P. And now let's do that rotation, so it's 180 degrees, so half a turn and you can see the triangle would end up here. We need to find the coordinates of each of those points though. Let's start by thinking about the point D. So the point D has coordinates 12, 3, and the centre is 34, 8. The horizontal distance between these two points is the difference of 34 and 12, which is 22. So the x coordinate of the point where D moves to will be 22 to the right of the 34. So if we do 34 plus 22, you get 56. We can do the same sort of process with the y coordinates. The y coordinate of D is 3, and the y coordinate of the centre is 8, so the centre is 5 higher. So if we add 5 more onto 8, you get 13. So the coordinates of D, which were 12, 3, would map to a new point, which we'll call G, which has coordinates 56 and 13. If you do the same process for the other two points, you find that they map to H, which is 43, 13, and I, which is 56, negative 2. The question asks us to find the area of the overlap. The overlap is this rectangle here. You can see the vertical distance of that overlap goes from 3 all the way up to 13, so it has a height of 10. The horizontal distance of that overlap goes from 54 to 56, so it's a horizontal distance of 2. So the area is just 10 times 2, which is 20 units squared. And that's your answer to the question. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful, check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads.